Radio. So, you mean to tell me that Omale is supposed to perform, he hasn't performed, he is going to speak to bloggers and journalists, and all of a sudden, Satanasha Donna come out of nowhere, comes and grabbed Omale, whisker him literally out of bloggers' eyes with cameras rolling, honey, and nobody even have a snippet clip or even a picture or even a bad picture for that matter of Tanasha Donna taking Omale away. Yet the story is being run somewhere. I ain't gonna mention names, honey, because I ain't gonna give nobody no clout, honey. But you know I'm amazing, I'm shady. Mm -hmm. But guess what? I'm still gonna talk about it. I just ain't gonna address your name, honey, because you weren't worth it. Well, guess what? Just minding my own business. Mm -hmm. And then I hear a story of somebody saying that Tanasha Donna came and took Omale away from the blogs. You all know how blogs are very, very nosy and they will take a picture anyway. Like they come up with some weird shit. Like, and then you mean to tell me, okay, that Tanasha Donna had Omale been going from one hotel to another, which they have. And they're very smart about it, okay? They've been going from one hotel to another and nobody, nobody have even a picture. A picture, even, no, not even a clip, a, even a bad picture. Let me just say a bad picture of them both being in the same car. Because it's been alleged uh -huh, that after Omale performed, he didn't even sit down to drink water. Tanasha Donna came out of nowhere and grabbed him again and took him back to the hotel. I'm like, whoa, well done, girl. Like, you have this man eating on your hands. Like, it doesn't even make sense at this point. Okay? And somebody has the audacity to say that Omale, okay, and Tanasha Donna's relationship, it's only benefiting Omale, which is kind of true. I agree with them on that point. Okay? It hasn't started benefiting Tanasha Donna, even though people are talking about Tanasha Donna, which is a good thing for now. Okay? And we agree that Tanasha Donna at least should be known in Nigeria. That one we have no problem about. But their relationship is their relationship. Okay? These people probably love each other genuinely without seeing what each will benefit out of this relationship. Maybe they came together out of love, not out of conveniency. They didn't come together because, oh, it's convenient for us to be together because we will be known uh, for our entertainment industry. So let's get to know each other. I'm like, it doesn't make any sense. And if somebody has the audacity to say that, ah, Tanasha Donna's song, or rather when Tanasha Donna was performing in, uh, in Mombasa, and I am mentioning names, okay? I love your messy gangs, but I hear anybody texting somebody's name there. I swear I'm blocking you. And that's on a period. I don't want names. I don't want names on the comment section. Okay? If I see somebody, you can comment anything else, but then if I see a name of any bloggers on my comment section, I'm blocking your ass. And that's on period with love, that is. Okay? This person is saying that Anasha Donna people weren't hyped up. Like, go and watch YouTube. Go and watch the most watched uh, person in Mombasa. You can go and Google it if you think I'm lying. Tanasha Donna names will pop up. Go and type Tanasha Donna as the name, the most viewed in Mombasa on 31st. Her numbers are even higher than Alikiba, yet Alikiba is... Uh, a bigger artist than Tanasha Donna, but Tanasha Donna's number were way higher than Ali Kibas. If Tanasha Donna weren't that good as they say, or rather they assume, would these people allow her to sing four, five, six, seven songs of ours and people were actually enjoying it? Because according to some people, people only know one song of Tanasha Donna. Again, I said I don't want bloggers' name on my comment section. With the love, I repeat, I don't want any blogger's name on my comment. 
with the love. If I see it, I'm going to block you. Period. Anyway, move along. I'll still go back to this, um, this information that I'm receiving that a national donor coming in, telling Omale, let's go! Grabbing him with this shark literally. I'm like, wow, Tanasha, you're bossing a man around already. First of all, that doesn't seem like Tanasha Donna. I'm not saying this because I love the girl. I ain't gonna even make it, you know, a secret that I like the girl. I've interacted with the girl, you know, sometime, and it's not her behavior. It's not her, unlike her, to just show that behavior. She is a humble person in real life. Trust you me. She is a humble person. And for this person to come and say that Anasha Donna came and took Omale away from uh, the blogs and they didn't take any pictures. At this point, I'm like, wow. Wow. Maybe those bloggers, they were um, lazy. <laughs> Or their phones went out of charge even if the camera wasn't working. Because you ain't going to tell me you are a blogger, you have a camera. Obviously, you have a phone for a backup. Okay? And it's not so only one have... blogger. Because everybody wanted Is to interview him. Everybody wanted to know why the show wasn't carried away. Keep it classy. Let's chop it down oh. in the comments.